Hello and welcome. My name is Indronil and in this video we will be talking about the Fortran programming and how we can set up the code blocks IDE for the Fortran development. So let's get started. At first, what we have to do, please open the browser of your choice. I am using the Microsoft Edge and type uh, code blocks code blocks IDE. Okay, the IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment. Okay, so here you will find the codeblocks.org link. Just click on it. And then what you will go get this page and here click on downloads and here you will get this download binary release do not click on this download a nightly build because this will have full of bugs and errors sometimes and it will be very difficult for you to handle it okay so don't do that just click on the download the binary release okay then you will get this page just minimize this ad and then here you have to choose your operating system mine is windows if you have mac or linux then it is totally okay totally fine you can go to this link but i am going to the windows link now here is the thing this page will be opened okay and you have to select this this thing this code blocks 20.3 minjw setup.exe if you are watching this later then uh, whatever the version is just click on this thing code blocks 20.3 minjw setup.exe what is minjw minjw is the compiler for your fortran program so it is very very important that you have this otherwise you will have a very hard time to figuring out the things okay just uh, click on this fossub link just click on it and it will start the download automatically you don't have to do anything else in this page here mine is started but i am closing it because i already have the installer downloaded and installed but you do not do that you have to download this fully and you have to install it okay cool then open okay i am just cancelling out this thing okay you have downloaded it maybe it will be in your downloads folder and then you have to install it this is a very simple process you just click on next next i agree that kind of stuff and now here i am in the desktop and i have opened the code blocks id this will be the default interface when you will open the code blocks id for the first time okay just minimize it for now and just create a new folder on the desktop a folder i'll call it demo fortran okay and hit enter it will create this folder on the desktop it is important you can name this anything else but you create this folder because all of the projects will be on in this folder okay now you have to go to the file explorer and then go to your c drive and again then go to the program files double click it and it will open this page and here you have to find the code blocks here it is then just click on it and then you will get this kind of many things here but what we are interested in this folder this minjw if it is not created for you then you have downloaded and installed another version it will should automatically be created for you just click on it and then uh, you have to go to the bin folder here you have to find some of the things like this g++ it is here gcc okay 
GCC AR okay fine and then go to the here it is GDB don't click on anything just see that these files are available in your system and then go yes this is this G Fortran this program will compile our code okay fine just click on back and just open the mingw folder just okay okay fine now minimize it and now go to the code blocks ide and then you can create a new project from here or you can go to file new and create a new project we have to create the fortran application here are all of the categories this is the fortran categories and here is fortran application just click on it and go okay this is the thing click on next and here you have to uh, name your project for me i am calling it my project project okay now here the folder to create the project in this is very important just click on it the three dots and go to the desktop and then i have created this demo fortran folder just click on it and select folder okay okay and then hit next and here you have to select this is the gnu gcc compiler but it will not work for us because we are writing fortran if we are writing c plus plus or c program then it will work but it will not work for us just scroll down and you will get this g95 fortran compiler and gnu fortran compiler we have to select this gnu fortran compiler gnu fortran compiler not the g95 gnu fortran compiler just click on it and finish okay it will take some time and you may this got this error and if you don't then like uh, you have set up uh, it properly but many of the times you will get this error okay don't worry about that okay now here is our project this is my project and for fortran sources and if we click on this plus symbol you will get this main dot f94 file and if you click on it this is a basic fortran program okay now what we have to do we should run it right but here is catch if i want to go to the build and here are uh, three buttons build run or build and run if you want to run a program then you have to at first build it then run it okay or you can click on this uh, button where it is build and run just click on it and you will get an error what is it this basically says that the compiler is wrong but why just fix it okay so this is the our program uh, this is a very good program and we should not have anything wrong with this program but now we have to go to the settings and then go to the compiler just look at it the compiler for this project is gnu gcc compiler but if you remember that we have set up the compiler to g fortran one right gnu fortran one but here it is not so we have to manually again select the gnu fortran compiler okay cool but don't um, hit the button okay we have to uh, do one more thing okay so go to this here you will get many tabs but here is tool chain executables just go to that and this is the main problem that why we are not able to run our program because this the installation of the mingw folder is wrong the path is wrong so what is the path remember that i have opened this folder here the program files and code blocks and mingw just click side uh, of the mingw and it will select it and then control c to copy it and then 
just control V to paste it okay okay now again here you have to do some more things that is C compiler here just you have to get rid of this mingw32 part okay so i am deleting this and here it only says that gfortran.exe you have to do it again here as well again here and okay this is the make so we should not touch it this is the make file so don't touch it just this gfortran once we have to touch it and we have to do like that okay now click on okay and now we should be able to run it let's give it a shot just click on it build and run and okay okay yes it has been successfully run in our machine so here you can set up and you can run the program of the Fortran language from Codeblocks IDE. Okay, so I know this was a long video, but here at last we have successfully set up our development IDE or the development setup for the Fortran development. Okay, cool. So that's it for this video.